What's up folks? My name is Nathan. I'm an instructor here at WWA and today we are going to do a combo 5G weld. We're going to do a back feed method. So let's get started. So we're gonna do our fit up here. I like to run a loose 532 gap. So I'm gonna put my 532 gap wire in here and I'll end up wedging one side open. So we can uh, get a little bit wider than the 532. So what you want to do is you guys put your coupons on here. You're going to line them up. You got to check for the high low. So the best way to do it is just kind of move your hands back and forth. And you look on the inside. And get the inside lined up. So. Alright. Good there. Now. You're going to wedge it. A little bit. All right, now that we got the fit made, we're gonna tack it up. All right, now that we got this thing all tacked up, we're gonna roll it down in the 5G position, feather our tacks down, and get the welding. All right, let's start putting the root in. Alright, now that we got our root in, we'll go ahead and start our hot pass. So when I was putting the root pass in, I, I was running about 90 amps on our hot pass. I'm going to crank it up to about 145. Now that we got our hot pass in, we get our TIG rig rolled up and get everything switched over for some 7018. Alright, so we're going to be running 332 7018 on the Lincoln Excalibur. And I went ahead and adjusted my heat back down to about 90 amps. So go ahead and put a hot pass in. Are you sure about that? Fill in. Alright, now that we got this one side in, we're going to go ahead and grind our starts and stops. Especially on the bottom, we're going to take our time and do a little grinding there and make sure we don't have any porosity in our starts before we take off on the other side. A few moments later. Alright, now we're going to put the cap on this. Alright guys, this will be it for me. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe down below and comment. Make sure you let us know what you think about the video and we'll see you in the next one.